Okay, I'm at the shop with my brother and my car is getting checked out too. <laughs> it doesn't want to drive. And mine's, mine's over there. And there's, there's the <laughs> green machine over there. Yep. And luckily they had two bays open this morning. So we're the only people here. This is Sam, uh, the guy that works on this stuff. He's the greatest mechanic around. And How I've long? Been, I've, been, I've been coming to him for almost 25 years. Wow. Well, this is my first time, but right down the road from my mom. Yep. So it was pretty easy. Yeah, mom comes here. Yeah. Yeah, so hopefully I can get this fixed because I'm stranded. I can't do anything. Can't have any fun. I came over here to have some fun and can't do anything without a car. All right, we'll talk to you later. See ya. Well, I found out that my car, the problem is the electronic throttle control. And I guess for $650, it'll be brand new like brand new again so I'm at his mercy so I said okay go for it get it fixed you're lucky when you're lucky to be alive yeah you know you're you were I was, I was I was riding on thin ice I'm in the van life green machine right now and he and brother John says that it's running great and he's loving it yeah tell him what what happened what I almost did what's it called uh, your ball joint. My ball joints, both upper and lower, were so bad that when he lifted up the van on the hoist, the wheel went sideways. Wow. It, it, so, so I was driving basically on on luck. Yeah. And mm. I I just got done with a 700 mile trip. You are so lucky. Yeah. Nothing happened. Oh my god. And, and last night I was driving home, and I had a buddy of mine. Gino. Everybody knows. Maybe uh -huh. they they probably know Jeff. I saw a car in front of me, it's, it's left wheel came off, the, I, the wheel was in the middle of the road, I swerved around it and then about a half mile off the road was the car. Wow. That's what would have happened to me if yeah. I, I would have went one more day. Same thing. So I just wanted to let everybody know this is my first time I've seen my brother in five months since yep. last August. Five months. Yeah. So he, <laughs> he's got to go do some business and driving around and, and so I said, well, let me go with you. It's been a long time since I've seen you. so. He says, yep, yeah, 90% of the time he's alone, doesn't have any company, so. Yep. <laughs> I'm always alone. Oh, hey, they got a festival or something going on here. Wow. wonder what that is. Oh, oh it says Greek. It must they, be a Greek festival. It's so much different here. I mean, even though Michigan has some strict rules, it's a lot different here than it is in where I'm living because we've got a really strict lockdown and we have a curfew at eight o'clock and every, like the stores are closing at six and Whoa. Ooh. In Windsor. <laughs> I just almost ran into the bridge. No, no. <laughs> um, we just opened today. Today was the first day. Yeah, for restaurants, though. Rest well, yeah, yeah. restaurants. 25%. Are not right. I just heard on the news, though, a lot of the restaurants said that they were losing money at 50% when they were, yeah. were able to run at 50. I don't know how they're going to run at 25%. There are, so many businesses are. are are when bankrupt. I feel so bad for people who have put a lifetime, yep, a, lifetime. In, a lifetime into their business and it's just gone, taken, stolen from them right under their right under their nose. Well if you remember with me, with my business, I um had a long time ago when 9 11 happened, yeah. my my business virtually went to zero. For, I remember that for, for like two to three years. Yeah. Oh I remember you had no It was awful. You, yeah, no work at all. So it's been 19 years ago, almost 20 years ago. Yeah, that, that's not fun. That's a, when something tragic like that happens, mm -hmm. that, that's what happens. And yeah. somehow it was, uh, yeah. yeah. Time for us all to have positive thinking, yep. say a prayer, and we have to manifest things to get good again. Yes. So my car is being worked on now. My electronic throttle control is being fixed. Expensive, but it's going to be, it's going to feel a lot less stress. Because as soon as that little light would come on, my car would stop running, it would start jerking, and it just felt like it was going to stop. And then if the light would go off, it would start running normal again, and then 30 seconds later, the light would come on, and same thing would happen. Was it giving you a problem when you were in Florida? No, no, no not that, no. No, this just started happening about a, uh, about a week ago. Well, I'll tell you one time when Johnny, when my son Johnny, Marilyn's uh, nephew, yep. um, he was just a little boy. He was only about five, six. We were, we were going down to Nashville and we get stuck in Nashville and the same thing happened. Oh, my ECM, electronic 
control module. Right. Yeah, it, 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 it went out. It actually burned, burned out. I'm stuck in Nashville with a little boy. I don't know if you remember that white Buick I had, or white, uh, white no, Buick I Riviera. No, Yeah, I had a really nice uh, Riviera, and the same thing happened. And we were stranded, and my dad saved me, so. Yeah. It's my old truck. <laughs> oh, I miss my Hummer. <laughs> <laughs> that Hummer was nice. Oh, I miss it so bad. I, I think about it all the time. It looks so like it was like a security oh, car. <laughs> it's like a, um, it's like the most comfortable, and you can drive through anything. I would go hunting. I would drive through mud and and just stuff. better than a jeep. Oh, way better. Wow. Oh, the Hummer. The Hummer is it's it's, it's a it's a military vehicle, oh. and um, oh, it was so much fun just to take out. If I ever get rich, I'm buying one. Yeah, I'm gonna sign off for now, and we'll be back in a little while. Well, my car is fixed. It's running awesome. Angelique is over here and uh, we ate dinner and my brother John is going to fill up my tires now and we're going to be all ready if we want to go for a road trip. It feels so good. Angelique just asked me if it feels good. It does. It feels so good and it's such a relief when your car is fixed. It feels like a brand new car again. It's low. It's really low. Holy sh What is it? 15? 20 pounds of pressure. This tire probably takes 30. 30, yeah. yeah. I'm sure it takes 20. You have, you're so low, it's, it, it ain't even funny. <laughs> they look perfectly flat. Yeah, I noticed that at the, at the place. It says it's only zero outside, but it's cold. It feels colder than zero, like yeah. uh, 32. It's, it's because it's so damp. Uh, it's not filling up, huh? No, for some reason, I mean, it didn't, it didn't sound like it was going in. No, it's like the gauge is... I think I'm letting air out. Because you could hear the sound. Now you don't hear the sound. Man, this is frostbite weather. My, it is my, cold. My thumbs are frozen right now. Yeah. But you, gotta do, you can't do it with gloves. Oh, my Seems like there's no air going in there. No, it's going in... You're right, it don't feel like it, but it... It looks like it, has, there's less air in it now. This is such a stupid gauge they have. Yeah. The kind that I like is when you put it on and you pull the trigger. Yeah. This is like stupid because the way the wheels are, there's no room. You gotta be exactly... And it's just killing my fingers. It's fucking leaking. Oh no! Well, how is it leaking? Just to update on the tire uh, issue that we had, I ran the car across the street real quick and it was a loose valve and the guy there was really nice enough to tighten up the valve and put air in all my tires. This is Uncle John broke my tire. Yeah, no I didn't. Yes. <laughs> he said, no I didn't. And we're working on a doodle here. We took it around the table. Oh here, we gotta get rid of the dirty dishes. Aunt okay. Carol started with the house. A tree and a snowman. No, 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 I put that tree. Oh, in. you put that tree. Yeah. Oh, she started with I've a, lost my mind. With a house and a snowman, and then and some snow. And Angelique put Santa Claus up here, and then Uncle John put this tree. You did the boonie, the bunny, that tree, and, and that tree, and that tree, and then I just added some clouds. Yeah. So. All right, now your turn. Or okay, is it done? It's done. I, I would say that it's finished. How bored we are! This is what you call COVID bored. Well, we're making decaf coffee so that we don't stay up all night. I have a bunch of dirty dishes I eating can Eating leftover wash. food. Yeah, eating leftover food from the birthday party. Oh, I'm but... sitting in the same chair that I sat in that night. Where'd you find that hat? I bought it. A long time ago. 20 years ago. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, wow. Dang. What happened to that other hat you were wearing? Which one? The, the yellow one. Oh, it got dirty. Oh. Oh, oh what? I gotta throw it in the uh in the bag. bag no, it's yeah. in my, still in my car. Don't worry, okay. I haven't made it there this yet. This lady right here is going to wash clothes. A lot of clothes. This man yep. over here. Because I hate washing clothes. <laughs> so that makes a good sister. It helps say he's gonna pay me though. <laughs> oh, I hate washing clothes. Oh, I hate it's it. worth it. Worth to pay somebody. What time is it? Do I have time to go there? Seven thirty. Yeah, I'll go in the morning. Go where? Laundry at nighttime, it's um, too crowded. We have a lot to do. You have to paint a room tomorrow. You've got to do go to the laundromat. You're going to be busy. I might be able to just bring some of those clothes in the house and wash them in my washer. I think that would be four loads. Oh. Or three loads. 
I no, I'd say, say four. I, I don't wash jeans in with other things because they bleed. So I'm gonna, I'm mm -hmm. gonna. Better I'll just. Um, I'm just gonna wash the stuff. I have to separate it. It doesn't make things delicate. Wow, that coffee is really rumbling so away over that. there. <sighs> Damn. It takes a while to make a good pot of coffee. I wouldn't know. I never drink it. Okay, well, Ann's just getting all set to watch Bachelor tonight, right? Right. I'm gonna have my celery juice. Here's a one cup of it. Neon green. I'm down to one cup a day. Into a, Into a beautiful green glass. There you go. Okay. This is my ration for the day. That's about a half, I would say about a half a cup. Oh, look at that. Right and I don't know, it's top. freezing cold. Yeah, look at that. She, hers got right to the top. I just there. washed my hair, it looks so nice. <laughs> okay, there we go. I have static hair. 